Hi again, uh, it's Monday, there isn't going to be any stitching today, at least I don't know, well, there might be a little bit. It's just an update really on what's happening. So the last video I put on here, I was umming and ahhing, wasn't I, about French knots on this strip. Well somebody, Henrietta, suggested seed stitch and I've done seed stitch and I absolutely love it. I think it's perfect and I don't know why I didn't think of it but there you go. It's a good job somebody else with brains was listening. Um, so I'm really happy. I think it looks really nice. It needs to be damp stretched. It's a bit, but that will happen. And then I now have to decide what comes next. Um, I haven't really thought about that yet. I just wanted to get this done, see how it was. And I love it. I couldn't love it anymore. So bullion knots and chain stitch, bullion knots, chain stitch. Okay. And then seeding all the way on there. Now I've managed to put another page together for my book using what I had left of these and that's in progress but what I wanted to say to you was some of these papers uh, it's mostly just paper so stitch paper okay and um, that I tear up and use the pages but on some of them and I don't know if I've got any here oh, I'll have to do some more might be a, a little bit in here on some of the paper, I've added silk velvet to the surface. I can't believe I haven't got any on here. Must have used it all. But, yeah, well, but I've got some in the on the pages that I've done, so you can see that in a second. I'll just put this back together, keep it all together, and I don't. It's easier. Right, so on this one, I don't know if you can see. So that's silk velvet and that's stitched onto paper and there's some there as well. Um, so when I have stitched velvet on here, I, I like to edge it to make it stand out so that it gets a bit more recognition because it's not just paper, it's paper and fabric. This page that's finished here, silk velvet with buttonhole stitch, silk velvet with buttonhole stitch, silk velvet with buttonhole stitch. Okay, so that might be... So that's going to be edged and there's another bit there that will be edged. I'm in the process of this at the moment in my first row of buttonhole stitch. Literally just going round the outside where the velvet meets the paper and doing buttonhole. And I do two rows of buttonhole. I just prefer how that looks. On the pins, yes, the pins do get in the way. Um, but it's just patience, that's all. I mean, it's going to loop around this as well but you just got to be careful and just, like I say, have a little bit of patience. So, just a little catch up on it. It's also an excuse for me to tell you that I've listed a new class, which you could find on my blog if you wanted to have a look. Um, so there, and so this is silk velvet on fabric. So really, this won't go on here. This is just, the thing I mostly use silk velvet for is this lace cloth. Um, that I make myself and I can make lace cloth just plain but I also like to use silk velvet I like the difference in textures and I love the sheen of the silk velvet and it's so sumptuous so beautifully soft so I thought why not if I love it so much on there why not do it on paper um, and introduce that to the paper so literally just a quick catch up and to plug my class I guess and um, if you have a look at my blog you can read all about that Okay, thank you for watching.